just got honked at by a trucker. Awkward. Oh my god, dead armadillo. I think it's fascinating that there are dead armadillos on the ground in Alabama, Georgia line. It, I don't know why, but they are like they have such powerful little shells and when they're dead and they're like rigor mortis sets in and they're all like ah! on the side of the road every time I it's wow but my feet get cold even in the summer my feet get cold and uh, I find that um, even if I'm just you know sleeping with just a sheet because it's summer I like to have the sheepskin on my feet and it keeps the feet warm so uh, I went to Ikea to look at sheepskins as well as they have cowhide rugs. Still trying to understand what the fascination with Ikea is. Every time I go there, I'm like, this is not what I want. This is not something that's gonna last. This is, I'm being gassed with cinnamon smells. And and then you're just trapped there and there's just so much stuff. Just so much stuff. You know where the scruff of the neck is? They had cow mohawks because the fur was so thick. So um, all of that was on sale and I bought two sheepskins and a cowhide rug and I spent $40 more than I would have spent at Ikea and it's quality. I could not believe it. I mean, there's gonna be a cowhide rug in my living room. I don't know how Coco is gonna deal with a cowhide. She and I are going to have to discuss the cow. Um, but cows are very special to me. Uh, I think I am the only child. Oh, I should rephrase this. I'm the only girl that probably never went through the horse phase. You know, where everybody has horses and they dream of them. No. No, I went through a cow stage. Okay. All I'm doing is using the full animal, making sure that nothing goes to waste. Like, if you are going to use an animal for food, sustenance, life force. I mean, maybe this is my West Coastness where we grew up and we always, like, our, all of our field trips were to go to Indian reservations um, where they would take us through the ritual ceremonies and we would hang out in teepees and all the teepees had pelts all over them and we sat on pelts. Like, this is part of my, uh, my world, I guess is what I'm trying to say. It's part of my, my nest, you know, like everybody has nests and my nest and what like is, I guess what I believe in is if you are going to kill an animal, don't waste a single ounce of it. Use every portion of it. And, you know, honor that animal by using all of it. I stopped off at a friend's house and we're checking out some amazing fish that he has in his fish tank. What kind of fish are they? It's a discus fish quite proud of his discus fish. Very much. <laughs> and what's this? Another fish tank? Because one. one wasn't enough. In we have studio. two fish tanks. This is the, the lame, simple one. What kind of fish are these? Oh, they're angelfish, 
They're um, barbs. They're several kinds. It's kind of relaxing to watch them. I know. That's why I got the tank. All right, and why are you not on film? Let's discuss this. The fish are the stars of this video. Oh. <laughs> okay. On my way home, I stopped off at Tyson's Frames and I told them the situation with the other bathroom where I changed the light fixture and then realized that the mirror was wrong and that I needed to frame the mirror. And they gave me two frames that I can take home and place up against the mirror to figure out which one is right for the bathroom. In other news, I went to Downing's and I got to hang out with Greta Downing, the Downing dog. What? Yeah. We gotta show that. Get down. Get down. Good. Good. Sit. 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 Now roll over. <laughs> Good girl, Greta. Good girl. Killed it.